guys. I think I broke it. Hey, I'm sad. But yeah, oh, I think I broke it. I think I agreed with you guys too enthusiastically. Um, I will greet you with less enthusiasm. Hello! How you doing? Hi! Hopefully the Twitch can handle that. Uh, I'm not sure that they can see us. This is so awkward. I really think I did break it. Zed. He like comes in to greet everybody and like <laughs> and the stream shits itself. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Oh my coffee's really full. Yes, I have hair, Drew. How we doing, Zim and Boop Snooter? And it looks like we got two men in a truck and Dirk and Java Dama and Drew and God's gracious goddess. How are you doing? Hey, Shy Girl Gamer, I am doing pretty good. I spent like all day sleeping. Yesterday after the stream, I spent time working on doing video editing and feel like I figured some things out, which is good. And then sleep, blessed sleep. Hey, Ads, how you doing tonight? Yeah, like, you know, sleep is, like, such a gr just glorious thing. I wish I could go back and collect all the naps that I refused as a kid and, and have them now. Because I'm telling you, as a kid, I wasn't having it. Sleep was, like, Satan. I was like, no, I don't want to do it. Come to make me. And now I'm like, oh, Please, please, can I have a nap? Just, just for a little bit, maybe an hour, or eight. <sighs> it was really bad, so I took time for myself, but I am much better now. Oh, I'm glad that you were doing better there, goddess. And welcome back. We all need time to like hide and recharge and just focus on us. Hey, Tammy, how you doing? I'm new here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Well, so far things are going great. Hello. Oh, uh, Yedaradu? Yedaradu? I'm going with Yed. Hi, Yed. 
You're learning English with me? Oh no! <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm not sure that I will teach you the most proper of Englishes. <laughs> But I mean, I, I suppose that's the point of listening to native uh, speakers is that uh, you're supposed to be learning the um, not super structured and properness, which I guess I could teach you like the most not proper <laughs> English. <laughs> And Ed is okay. All right, I will try to remember that because I could say Ed. <laughs> I started streaming more. I got a new boyfriend that is actually loyal and and toxic, and now I have my own Discord server for streaming. Well, that sounds like a lot of things going on all at once, and I can see why you needed some time, Goddess, to sort stuff. And I'm glad that you meant not toxic, because I was concerned, and I wasn't sure how to, like, <laughs> address that. I was like, oh, uh, and toxic. Goodness, no wonder you needed some time. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's not toxic. That's very good for you. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so worried. I'm like, I hope that's what she took time to take care of. <laughs> Ed, is, you're in Brazil. Nice. Well, thank you for joining us. I love it when people from other parts of the world join us. I get to, like, get a little peek of perspectives from elsewhere. <laughs> I can call I can call you Grace. Okay, I will try to remember that. I'm not good at remembering everybody's names and nicknames and we. Yeah, there have been a lot of people here in uh, from different countries, and it's been really cool and it's been super fun. And when we start talking about different things, it's been nice to have um, people from other parts of the world uh, talk about how things are different than they are in America, which has been a nice perspective to have. So yeah, I have really enjoyed being able to talk to people from other parts of the world because sometimes it can be really easy to get so entrenched in where you live and that perspective that you forget that not everywhere is just like here. So yeah, I, I, I really have enjoyed being able to talk with peeps from all over everywhere and, and they've definitely been from all kinds of places <laughs> it's okay i'll help remind you fabulous i love reminders and tammy is from germany nice i also really enjoy watching international streamers i again i think it's super fun to touch base with people from other parts of the world all right, so today we're going to be playing Minecraft, and I'm going to be playing on the server that is open to the people who have VIP status or who have subscriptions through the coffee server. Um, so if you have the coffee um, subscription of Llama Corn or more, you can join us. Um, and I'm talking about the, if you look at the link above me, or if you follow the link down below in the about page, the buy me a coffee slash zebra pig. Um, I'm talking about going to that site. And if you're one of the people that support us through the subscription there, one of the benefits is being able to have access to the servers. You love my nails. Oh, thank you. I think that my nail um, tech does amazing job. Yeah, and these ones are like, what do they call them? Holographic is what they call them. And I think they're really cool because they're all like, I can never tell how well you see stuff. Uh, but they're all like rainbowy. All right, let me scroll down here and I'm gonna say I, I have a screen here somewhere. Mm 
Is it picking up the game? It looks like it's picking up the game. Fantastic. Love it when it behaves. Yeah, I like was got on so that I could uh, check settings and make sure that the sound was off so we didn't have to worry about copyright issues and like of course it was nighttime and a zombie like strolls up and says hi immediately. And of course my chat overlay is telling me to stuff it. I swear that's the thing that I have the most trouble with. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm not sure how to say that. I'm going with check. How you doing? Welcome to the dazzle. Oh, you you really love Minecraft? Me too. I think this is one of the best games ever. And the mods, Siri Sulk and Mishrach have been busy in this world already. They've been playing on the server. I have not yet. So I'm going to take a look around and see what they've been building and see where we're at. <laughs> And yeah, they they reset where we spawn so that we'll spawn where they've been building things. And yes, the spawn location works. So yeah, I'm going to take a look around and see what what's built. Nice bridge. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, so here's a player house that somebody can claim, I guess. Oh, helps if I, I have to remember the controls. It's not E to open things. Oh, that's not it. You know, I've been playing other games so much now that I'm like, I don't remember what buttons. Nice. And it's like got chests and a bed and it looks like a stand for extra armor, item spots. Oh, and it's got, oh, I went up. Oh, and more storage space down here or whatever you wanted to build. So it's got a basement. Well, this looks like quite the lovely little house for rent or purchase. I don't know, like, for ready for moving in? I'm sure it doesn't cost anything. All right, what's, what's down here? Don't worry, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that nickname either. Ah, that's fair. <laughs> I think only one thing is left to finish and it's like 95% done. Oh, nice. All right, what's here? Oh, so this looks like there is like a whole group of little houses here that people can move into. Nice. So all uh, the same idea. Some furnaces, crafting table, some chests, a bed, and I bet this is that empty basement. Yeah, nice. And then when you claim the house, you could like change the sign to be like so-and-so's house. Yeah. So this is just like a village over here. Player village. Nice. This one's a little smaller. Looks like things are set up down in the basement. Looks like the basement is plenty large enough though to accommodate all the things. Nice. So it looks like each house is a little different. I like that. So you can like go around and see which one you like. So this is the enchanting table. I don't remember. Oh no, it's not the enchanting table. Please do not chop down the azella tree. If you see one of those lovely trees in the world while you travel, dig down around them. They grow above lush caves full of azella, moss, glowberries, drip leaf clay, and aloxo, alo okay, yep. So that means there's a cave underneath here, cool. So a little park around this tree that apparently is making a cave feature underneath us. That's neat.
very like hilly area that we are in. Will you have a good night there, uh, Check. Thanks for coming and visiting with us. And hello, Chance Shark. How you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle. Well, this one's not marked as being a player house. I wonder what this one is. I am doing well. Oh, it looks like another little house. This one has a loft instead of a basement. Um, I don't see a sign. I don't know how to make a sign either. Um, I need to cut down a random tree, I guess, first of all. Of course, they're all, like, really tall. And we are looking for... Uh, excuse pause time. Excited, excited. <laughs> right? Husky hat has been donned. Get his whiskers a little bit up out of my face. Oh, it's fine. So I shouldn't try to build a uh, sign for it. Well, I'm already kind of committed to cutting this tree down. I won't leave this tree half seas. That's weird. And I'm sure that I will need wood for something at some point anyway. <laughs> All right, so that one's a player house too. Yeah, they all have like different personality. And then we got carrots in the front here. Another player house. Well, what's an angry face, huh? I always have chaos at my table next to me. I'm telling you. Thank you. Nickname was Grace, I think. Thank you, Grace. And the basement. Nice. I like the mossy cobble. That has been one of my favorite boxes. The uh, boxes. Blocks. Uh, I think we came from that way. And we're already all turned around. Nope, this is the direction we came from. It's fine. <laughs> yes, hydration is key. Key to all the things. Oh, what's this? X marks the spot. Oh, man. I need to build a sword. Because it's really hard to kill zombies, let alone baby zombies, with a freaking block. Goodness. I think that I need sticks to make a sword. No? All right. 
Guys, I don't... I, it's been way too long. I don't remember how to do shit in this game. Alright, when we go to the next house, I think I need a... Crafting table to make a sword. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't take much to get me lost there, Siri. That is a boulder that spawns naturally in Mega Tigers, the biome we're in. Oh, okay, cool. An X boulder. So then we got a house that has some cows. All right, all right. Oh, and a balcony, so you can, like, look out. Nice, nice. We should really start the streaming with a kind of prediction. <laughs> High slap. <laughs> like, how long will it take before I get lost? Well, you know, a minute at most. Oh, no, it's raining. My hoodie's getting wet. Yeah, those boulders are just kind of everywhere. No, oh, hi, Fox. Well, he just ran off. He's like, nope, nope, nope. Can't say I blame him. So this one looks like it has an upstairs. Oh. So a little loft up here. And a downstairs basement that I apparently cannot get in. There we go. There, now I'm prepared for, for, for the world, right? I think we were going this way. Grace, you have a good night. <laughs> I didn't think that that was the road was supposed to go that way. Ah! Hey, Foxy. Apparently, I missed a house over here. Apparently, this craziness is a road. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, player house over here. Whew. It's like... Pillar supports. Okay, we got this. Let's not die. All right. Much better now that I actually have a sword. Let's not try to walk into the wall. That's fine. These are the best flower in the game right there. The little onions. Hello, Barney. How you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle. This has an upstairs. Nice. Okay, okay. I thought it was, like, gonna loop back around to it or something. I don't know. Hi, Mr. Fox. He's still just like, nope, nope. I don't I don't know you, man. I'm um, just... Well, this place is massive. Mm-hmm. 
Map rooms, downside stairs, pig race tracks into the geode. Okay. Oh. So let's go to the map room first and see what's there. Oh, wow. The map is on the ceiling. <laughs> I can't say I expected it to be on the ceiling. I was expecting a giant wall. All right, so this is this is the map of the area. So it looks like there are a couple other big buildings that we haven't seen yet, but it looks like we've kind of taken a tour of most of the little house areas. All right, all right. Hello, Smoothie. How you doing tonight? Okay, this is not a book I can read yet. And I don't know what these tables are. Okay. Giant wall is harder to read and update. So it is on the ceiling since you can do that now. Hey, you know, they're cartography tables. Oh, okay. Just woke up. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I'm doing really well, Smolfy. Thanks for coming and joining us. All right, and then into the geode for the pig racing tracks. And that is the future book of coordinates. Oh, okay. That's what, I figured it was going to be some kind of a uh, world bookkeeping track of things. I think the geode looks so cool. Oh. I didn't expect it to, like, pop me in. Well, hello, Mr. Pig. And the race area is only 95% done. I'm sure it looks fabulous just the same. Hi, Pig! Okay. Ah, oh, man, there's creepers here. I hope griefing is turned off. Uh, it's dark. Yeah, I know. It is not. What? Oh, shit. Alright, so we got pigs. And we got the carrots. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of exploring here because I don't want the creepers to blow anything up that they've worked really hard to build. Creepers, go the fuck away. Of course, they have to, like, roll, stroll right next to where I am. I try not to drown myself with my coffee. Oh, man, get away from the... Get away from the path, assholes. Should flip the switch and flip it back. That is the race starting area? Okay. Oh man, are those creepers just not going to bugger off? Mm. If I like walk on the side, is that far enough away from them that they won't blow up? I just don't want them to blow up. Just walk faster. Oh dear. I think it's cute to sprint. Okay. The creepers demand that you give them your hat. Um, well, I would give them my hat if that meant they wouldn't blow up and damage work that's been worked on. Hello, Schlorp. Welcome to the Dazzle. And what's up right now? Anxiety. Anxiety's what's up. Ah! No, 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 no! At least it was a spider. That means it didn't blow up. Okay, it was a spider, though. That means no blowing up happened. All right. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Coming from this side, guys. There's a... There's a pig on the side! Uh, <laughs> now, but she just joined the server, so she got a wooden sword and some planks to her name. Yeah, I got like... I got like nothing. Yeah. And if you shoot the... Yeah, if you shoot the creepers with a bow, I would be fine. But I, I currently have like nothing. I, I've got like three sticks, 24 planks. Um... I've got four rotten flesh and a wooden sword. That that's that's what's to my name right now. Ah, oh, that's just amazing. That's this isn't the same building as I was in before. Hello. Oh, I was greeting ads again. You've been here, ads. But hi, ads. I'm just going to greet you again. Hi, ads. How are you tonight? Oh, man, I'm broken. I was trying to take a look at the inn. So I could see it in all of its, like, splendor. See? You got to, like, be able to, to look at it so that we could see it. I can't do that when I'm, like, running in here. That's quite the selection. You can build a wooden big sack with that inventory. I mean, I I could build all kinds of stuff. You know, like an axe. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's all kinds of shit I could build, but beats the hell out of me. I could make a bowl. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I love the piggies. I think this building looks great. I like the green... Oh, and it does say in right there. I like the green blocks with the green moss. Nice. We got a little sitting area over here. I presume that's what's over here as well. Yes, yes. Big stairs. Hello, La La Minscope. Welcome to the dazzle. Nice. So then we got the guest rooms up here. Boop. Nice. So the guest rooms have a bed, some furnaces, a chest, a place to put some clothes, some item things. And then you can come out onto the balcony and look out at the splendid rain, the glorious rain. Hey, Snowy! Welcome to the Dazzle! I forgot where I found you, but I think it was on your YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is definitely a place you can find me. Thanks for coming and checking us out. Always a good vibe. Oh, thanks! I'm glad that you like the vibes. Sleeping may pass the rain if it is a storm. Um, nope, but that's now my spawn point. And I'm assuming that all of these rooms are about the same. Yep. Looks like... Same idea. Nope, not stormy enough. Yeah. I was access denied. Yeah, so it looks like each one has some chest space. The, uh... Item frames and the thingy and the crafty thing and the sleepy spot and the hot boxes god words each one's in a little bit different configuration but you know the different view on the other side oh, okay oh you think you first saw me from the tiktok yeah that's where most people first saw me Lon. so that's highly probable So from here, you can see some of the buildings in the spawn area. So if you don't want to claim a house, but you just want to, like, quest in the area, it gives you a place to save and store stuff. Yeah, there's pigs on the wall. It's amazing. 
I love that banner so much. I think it's awesome. And I think this place looks so amazingly cozy. I think you guys have done a great job building this area. It's like a mountain resort. All right, so then over here, I'm not going in, is the, to the pig land, pigman land. Nice, nice. With a very um, ornate framing to the hole. Hello, Jupiter Spite. Oh, Sprite. There's an R in that. Hello. <laughs> Jupiter Sprite, <laughs> welcome. How are you guys doing? Welcome, Raiders. And Nether Portal. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. And it looks like you guys were playing Elder Scrolls V. Nice, nice. How was your stream there, Jupiter Sprite? Good old Skyrim. All right, and then try to get look at this building from a bit of a distance. Yeah, S Skyrim is like amazing, even though it has all the bugs. Yeah, Skyrim! Bugs are its charm. This is so true. All right, and this one is. With a warehouse. So, wall of boxes, not surprising. Plain integral. Inter, inter, in, integral. I can't really say that word. Sorry. Hi, plain. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the dazzle. And what's up? Well, right now I'm exploring what my mods have been building on the server because they've got some really cool stuff. And how are you guys? So this looks like it's just walls or chests as a good storage room should be. Like, and there's a lot of storage. Oh, and then up here is the library with the enchanting table. All right, a little library area and an ender chest. And I have no idea what that thingy is. And an anvil. Yeah, I think the mods have been doing a great job building. So I wanted to like take a look around and see what everything is, is looking like. Every time she stands in front of an open door and looks at chat and waiting for a spoon. Oh my goodness. I didn't think that I had an open door. And then this is like a balcony. Nice. What just happened? Why did I come back up here? That was weird. <laughs> it's like, no, you must be here. Just the lag yo-yo. The, the warehouse is like, no, you cannot leave. Hello. Easy local, welcome to the dazzle. How are you tonight? Um, I think that this was the inn, so there should be a bed in here, because we have other players on who are liking to sleep. Boop. There we go. We 
Darkness set the darkness obey. Oh, that's not the right door. That's fine. Well, I know you're on the stream, but I don't know if everybody can read the little, like, typing at the bottom of the thing. I mean, and I guess I don't have to type to you, is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just like... Are we on a realm? We're on a, uh... Uh, we're on a server. We're on the Dazzle server. All right, so that's down to oblivion. I mean, like, a really big freaking hole. So definitely don't jump off the bridge. I have no idea where the racetrack was from here. Um... Go through the warehouse. Oop. Oop. That's the end. Oh. You know, that's fine. We'll, 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 we'll go through the, the inn just for good measure. Now we'll go through <laughs> the warehouse. <clears throat> I knew that. It was a test. How much time did it take you guys to build all of that? I don't know, Siri. How long did it take you to build all this? Because I think this is the section that Siri was building, or is this the section that uh, Miss Ratch was building? I'm not sure how much of uh, who built what. So there must be a like go around to the other side this way. Yeah. Uh huh, huh. Look at that. And all its glory. <laughs> yes, well, I did none of the building as per the usual because I have no sense of like building. So this is the other side of the building. Shrine to Zebra Pig. Offerings are welcome on altar. Oh dear. <laughs> this is this is where the big statue is. Okay. <laughs> and there's an altar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And there's like a tray with looks like some money or gold, some flowers, candles, flowers, crystals, <laughs> the amethysts. I love it. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> and seating areas where you can like, I don't know, stare up at the pig all day. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's golden carrots. Oh, yep, yep, golden carrots. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of fruit. A glowberry, okay. Yes, yes, we, we, we have the Enderman Podstall offering. <laughs> uh, 
and all of the uh, pig banners and the little flowers in the corner. that are apparently dropping pollen on me. And yeah, there's totally some mushrooms over here. Yeah, the mushrooms are totally vibing in here. And another thing of pod stall, yeah. Yeah, you're going to be constantly fighting with the Enderman. Going to be a full-time job. All right, so do we have to come out here? Nope, this is where we came in. Oh, wait, looks like there's... Oh, there's like this whole balcony area. Behold! <laughs> wow. Hey! Um... I, I, I got I got a fungal infection on my hand here. <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms are creeping in all around. Had to give the cult a proper place, right? Eh. <laughs> yeah, there's totally a shroom invasion. That looks like maybe one more level. No. What? Well, it looked like there was another level up there. Wait. That I don't have access to. Go up, right click. Oh. They're trap doors. Gotcha. It takes us out to a balcony. Behold the forest! Nice. And behold the main! And this is where you, like, come face to face with the zebra pig and have a conversation, apparently. Like, when, when you want to make a petition, like, this is... This is where you, like, come and talk to the zebra pig. Like, yo, dude! What's up? Yeah, hi. And a view on the other side. Quite grand, quite grand. I'm supposed to go to get to the racy track. I didn't even know you could make candles in this game.
Hold shift to pause on ladders. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably. All right. I want to decide which one of these houses I want to, like, live in. That's a tough choice. I guess I'm here. I'll sleep in this house. <laughs> Hello, Fees Bubbles. How you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle. Well, there's lots of choices. Lots of neat places. Oi. I need them to decide. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking there, Bubbles. Now, do I go with the house that I think looks the coolest, or do I go with the house that I think that I'll be able to easily find again? I mean, I'm not sure what would make it be the house that I could easily find again, but... I never build my own house. This one has a fireplace, so um, I'll be nice and warm, if nothing else. The home of the zebra pig. Da -da 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 -da. I've marked it as my own. P. All right. Uh, now that I have a house, I guess I shall go explore the wild. I thought I did set the spawn point in that one. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I only thought about it. Yes. Did it not set my spawn point? I think it did. I think it did. I mean, it is definitely a good thing to check because, I mean, I, you know, I forget things.
What is over there? Looks like a little village over there. Boop, 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 boop. Ah. See if I can do this without, like, plummeting to my death. A vanilla village be nice to the neighbors? Well, I plan on being nice to the neighbors. I'll just go, go say hi. I hope the zombies haven't eaten them. That would be sad. Oh, dear. Hello, Star Stark Starkey. Welcome to the Dazzle. How you doing? Oh, I lost sight of the village smoke. I don't know where I'm going now. Ah, oh, there it is. I could do this. Hey, look, I found the village path. They got a little garden here. Nice. Some pumpkins. Star Nexi. Gotcha. Um. This guy's like. In a trough. Hey, bud. Hello. Trocanso? Welcome to the Dazzle. Right click the trap door. Won't that let him out? Free my mans. It will free the idiot. Okay. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Freedom! <laughs> Oh, and he put on a hat. He's a farmer now. Yay, we've promoted him to a farmer. I was open. Oh, you just think I should leave it open. Okay. Doing a wiggle. Uh. Hello, Sapphire Eyes. How are you doing tonight? Eh. All right, so it looks like there's some road here. Maybe so. All right, some kind of like brazier thing. Oh, that's the belt. Got the hiccups. Cramped little space. Saw of death. Okay. Some rotten meat. Um, I think you guys need some stairs here. Can I just can I just make that recommendation that we we that you add that you add some stairs, like. This is, this is not the best place to, um, continue your road. 
<laughs> like four points <laughs> to just drop off the edge. <laughs> How's Minecraft going? It's going pretty good so far. <laughs> it's their rock climbing wall. Oh, is that it? All right, sure. Um, there's a really well-designed garden here. Great job, guys. It's all, like, modern feng shui. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just throw some words out. It's creative abstract. Yeah. Oh, dude, 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 uh, like, eh. Hey, Logan, how you doing? Apparently, we're just gonna stay the night in this village tonight, and... Hello, Blaze de Grace, how you doing? Welcome to the dazzle. Well, I think that's all that's in this village. Welcome to the Dazzle. How you doing tonight? We're doing pretty good. I need a buildy box. There's birch trees. Maybe I should have, like, harvested some of their crops. I don't know if that will make them offended or not, but I have, like, no food. I need to cook my mutton. All right, buddy. I'm going to take, like, this pumpkin. Can't I eat a pumpkin? No? Why can't I eat pumpkin? Pumpkin is one of the best foods ever. 
Apparently, I can't eat a pumpkin. Here, you're gonna have your pumpkin bag. Alright. I have no idea how to make pumpkin pie. Alright, I'll go back to like... That gives me pumpkin seeds. Oh, he's a snob and only eats it as pie, which takes, like, egg and sugar, which I don't have. All right, so, yeah, he can just have his pumpkin back. And I don't know that there's a furnace around here, because that's what I need to cook, I think. Hmm. Three wheat is bread. Oh, well, all right. I was going to replant, but I guess you're going to have to do it, bud. Um, I guess nothing's like ripe. That's the problem. How not to sustain yourself in Minecraft. I only ended up with two wheat. Of course. No bread for me. Make a pick. We got the skies, we're not gonna die. <laughs> the mind of the craft. What? I don't know, Lily. That seems sus.
guys. We got snacks. We got snacks. Not snacks, snacks. Now we're ready to conquer the world. You know, it's fine. That that that's definitely my everyday life too, there ads. I can't get shit done without like Alright, any concrete explicit directions. Do not assume I can function as a normal adult. Alright, we're gonna ride this down. Whew, I almost missed it. Ooh. Pokey rocks. Is a rock I can make a better pick out of? Landing on them hurts. Nope, I guess I can't make a better rock pick out of that. All right, so I got some of this stuff. I keep trying to hit B. What is this? Copper? That's a lot of copper. Is that even anything that I can build with right now? I don't even know what I use this shit for. I got a lot of it. Got it coming out of my ears and my nose and... Yeah, I need to, like, find some coal so I can make some sticks of light. Oh. Hey, coal. Ah! Coal! B still does not open it up. What? I can't hold a torch for light? I feel fucking robbed. I feel like you all are speaking in specific Minecraft language completely unknown to me, right? <laughs> Copper is blocks and um okay, no tools. Okay. Uh I feel like that's robbery. Well, hello, fucker. 
I am foreseeing an explosion in my near future. Yeah, this is true. There's always something out there to get me. Oh, some iron. At least I think that's iron. Where are you? Oh, you were what was making the light. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's a curse just like Carl, right? <laughs> And redeems. Oh, sorry. There it was. Totally redeems. So we're doing a posture check. Thank you. I was getting so like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you, Smokey. I'm going to be sitting upright. And we're doing water the basil. Thank you, Smokey. Because you all are crazy, you want me to sing for five minutes. So we're going to be singing. I don't know why you guys like want your cakes on singing. And was Miss Raj asking me to do something? I'm not intentionally ignoring anyone. I'm just trying to figure this game out again. It's been forever, forever. I found some coal, gonna pick it, and put it in my bucket, so I can make a torch. So yeah, let there be light. <laughs> the world would be better if we put everything into a song. Yeah, if we just walked around talking to each other and a song. Can you imagine how weird and goofy it would be to just go to work and be all like, Hi, boss. What you doing today? <laughs> Was getting ready to make my presence more known to her by throwing the pig or something in the room. Oh dear, ah, I don't duck well. So it would hit me right in the face. And then I'd be on the floor, twitching like a fool. I'd be down for the count, cause I think I got like just one hit point. Find some pokey rocks. Need to make some more light sticks. Oh, you don't need to throw things at me. I'm sure that it's just fine. What did you need from me? 
Seems like all I'm finding is copper in these holes. How sad. That's a big drop. I will probably die. There's a skeleton, and he wants to make me dead. <laughs> now we're going to make them wonder. Welcome, JYJ Games. How are you today? Looks like you were also playing Minecraft. How was your stream going? Can I put these in my pocket? Do they stay a pokey stick? Ah, uh, yes, I get to have a pokey stick. That seems like a dangerous plan. Ooh, ooh, we found gold. I think it's gold. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm quite completely lost. I don't think I could get out of this game again, even if I needed to. This is now my home, because I am stuck in here forever. <laughs> and it beeps, so I don't have to sing anymore. Ow, I just took a freaking pokey stick in the butt. Well, yeah, I could die, but that's no fun. I think I need an iron pick to get that. Uh, which means that I need one of these to be that. Uh, oh, I guess I need to cook the iron now? It, it, it doesn't just make iron? That's rude. Boop, 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 boop. Guess we're just gonna, like, cook some iron. This just seems to be one-to-one. -one. I don't remember iron coming as a lump. I thought I got it as a bar right to start with. I don't know. It's been forever since I played this. Never? That was never a thing? I just don't remember this lump. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, there's all kinds of things that happen that I never remember. I don't know that I need any redstone, but by God, I got some.
I keep trying to hit B like that's going to do something. For some reason, it just doesn't open my inventory no matter how many times I try it. Huh? That rock's different. Well, this distinctly looks like a hallway. It's a lie. It didn't lead anywhere, like, exciting. Get some more iron. This one I think I need iron for. And I think that I need my food to be full in order to heal that. Yeah. Unfortunately, that means that I won't have any more food to eat. Netflix canceled one of your favorite shows. Oh no, Zim, that's awful. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when you really get into like a book or a game series or a movie series or anything like that. And then they just are like, nah, we're done. When it's like not even close to being done story-wise. They're like, but I want to know what happens. They're still making a book series, but still sad. Well, you know, at least they're making the book, but yeah. It, it's sad. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm in danger. He didn't get me. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're one of those, like, rock weevils. Fuck! There's more than one rock weevil! I'm so gonna die! Like, leave me alone, you little fuckers! There's a whole swarm of rock weevils! Like... Creeper's like, if I can't get you, I'll send in the weevils! Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, I totally need to make a better sword. It's 
Five inch of your life, literally, yeah, Zim. It was pretty uh, sketch there. And now I have, like, no food, so I'm going to be mostly dead until I die or find something to eat. Is this regular survival or hardcore? It's survival. I see seven days to five. Finally got a graphical upgrade. What? That doesn't seem natural. And hi, Stacks. How you doing? like there are stairs so I can come back this direction like I'm ever going to find my way out of this place. What is that? We got like a sparkly squid over there. This is totally seven days <laughs> mod, right? Yeah, totally, totally, totally. I'm not gonna fall to my death. That's not nice. I mean, why would I fall to my death? <laughs> I might get shot and die that way, though. Fuck, yep, there we go. Yo, how you doing? Well, I can't kick the guy out of his bed, so I gotta go to the other bed to sleep. Um, I don't think that the prediction had a time to, uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, I think, I think you're just gonna have to give them all their cases back. <laughs> and no, it's rude to kick somebody out of their bed. So now I have to, like, go home and drop off my treasures.
You're going to be eating lots of mutton. Hello, Bob Tense. Welcome to the Dazzle. How are you doing tonight? Well, that's the fucking direction I just came from. Wait. You know, home is here somewhere. Hi, pig. You should show us what it looks like at sea level. Right, yeah, sure. idea. I'm lost. Nothing's new. Oh, look. I have an apple to eat. How exciting. We had a lovely spawn point. <laughs> Swing from the trees like Tarzan. Sure, Stax. That's exactly how I'm going to get there. Food, that's something. It's about the only thing I got going for me right now. Did you not know that zebra pigs are tree animals? Oh, sure, exactly, they are. We don't have the coordination for that shit.
Hello there, dogs or cuties. How you doing tonight? Um, cheeking. Volunteering? Great. Oh, I'm doing all right. You know, totally lost, confused, and alone in the woods. But other than that, great. I'm not sure how I don't always get leather from cows, but that's fine. I just like hack and slash them so badly the leather is all like muffed up. I mean, that actually kind of seems pretty legit. Hey, Mickey Q, how you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle. And I'm pretty good. I'm pretending that I know what I'm doing in Minecraft. Emphasis on pretending. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'm winning at Minecraft now. <laughs> I pretending to know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, totally a game! I mean, yeah! I do that, I never know what I'm doing in Minecraft. Yeah, I, I never know what I'm doing in most games. I can't do Minecraft, bows don't seem cool enough. <laughs> yeah, stacks, you always seem to be like, I gotta have a bow!
Maybe a one trick pony, but it's really cool looking tricks, right? I, I'm not knocking it. You kill things better than I do. I deviated from this plan once. <laughs> oh, how'd that go? Never again. Guys, I just got turned around. I have no idea where my bed is. Just gonna lay down right here and die. Eesh. I do enjoy having quick access to the chem stations. Yes, to the chem stations. A lot of stuff that I need to put in the cooker. Oh, you're posting it on the <laughs> nice. <laughs> There guys, look, I'm building. Soon I will have a grandiose home that will look just as cool as what Siri built. <coughs>
Gonna have a glorious wheat farm here soon, guys. Hi, dog. Oh, yeah, look at that. What? I need bucket and water. Oh, man. I think I need iron for a bucket. Well, who decided that you needed to water crops in order for them to grow? That seems rude and ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, it's totally unrealistic. All right, that's a mine cart. There's a bucket. To be fair, not all games require you to maintain plots. Cough. <laughs> exactly. As it should be. They should just magically grow on their own. <laughs> Aw, Boot, how adorable. You're giving me such faith. I mean, you've watched me play games, right? Like, you've been around. You've totally seen me, like, flailing and my ship sinking, right? Lumber corn hat when? I don't know what you're talking about, Stax. <laughs> when am I going to make a llama corn hat? I d I don't I don't know. I guess the first step would be finding yarn that matched May. Yeah, I definitely have little faith in my gaming ability. That I need a mistrudge hat. So what is that, a monkey hat? All right, maybe. All right, let's see. I need, I need to make it so I can find my base later. to make it more visible. Yep. Okay, um, uh, we'll never get lost again. 
I'm sure of it. Instead of floppy ears, it comes around, comes around and forms a seven-foot beard. Oh! some coal. Coal's good. We need that for like cooking and torches and stuff. I think that's all I ever use it for is cooking and torches, but you know, that's fine. We'll add this stuff because I'm sure there's something else that I just don't know about. fine don't forget it also has one more very for you making <laughs> oh okay I mean it gives me green little motes of light so you know we like that that makes me more powerful and mighty and you know I can go to that enchanting table that happens to be right at that starting location that I will never find again Your water is mine! Ugh. I might be stuck in this hole forever, but your water is mine! In the face, old diggy boot. The water was a big trap. Sure was. It's like lure you in so you can fall and never come out again. Look, guys, our garden's great. We're gonna have all the bread.
We're gonna have chicken. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. And beef. Yeah. The world is bountiful. And apparently we're gonna have flowers at our base. You know, gotta make it like pretty and stuff, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, so there's that. It's a beautiful scream, quite glorious. I mean, if I kill enough cows, I can make leather armor, right? Yeah. It's multiple murders for weakest armor in game. Well, you know, gotta start somewhere. I just want to say every time I watch your stream, it makes me happy. It makes me smile. Keep the good work. Aw, thank you, Presley. Pretty good, just running around doing errands today. I get to relax now. Nice! Everybody likes relaxing time. You know, guys, I do what I can. So, Otter, I have this beautiful house. And then I lost it. So I'm living out in the woods. Out in the middle of nowhere because I lost my house. It's fine. I mean, I'm sure I'll find it again someday.
I just left for 13 minutes. When did you lose the house? Yeah, well, you know, uh, it's it just, it, it, the universe ate it. I, I'm sure that's what happened. Um, otherwise, I'm sure that I would be able to find it again. I mean, it could not possibly be that I just have no sense of direction. Chicken dinner! I just everything on mute and killing cute animals. <laughs> and she just has to break the bed and die to go back to the spawn. But you know, what? I don't... But suicide seems like a bad option. Oh, that's a hole. I'm sure that if I build a, a decent base and get my supplies up, then I'll be able to find home without having to resort to tragedy. I mean, come on, it's glorious lawn mowing right here. So I just need four more seats. Hello, have, have a great day. How are you? Meow. Oh, you know, I'm lost alone in the woods, but other than that, I'm good.
<laughs> of course he's having a yes what was i thinking of course he's having a great day House pillar tall enough. Pizza. Thank you, pizza flavor bastard. Yep. Well, shit. Guys, I lost my base. find any diamonds yet um no Incapable of keeping any sense of direction, I'm telling you. I thought, oh yeah, I'll just like mark it with this pillar of stone and then I'll know where it is. Nope. something in the game that you could do that with do what with
Well, we found red. Really? <sighs> she gets lost with someone literally being a quest dog. Yeah, well, you know. Walking off the edge is not the freaking plan. That that's that's not how you're supposed to find your base. <laughs> we need to uh, slap a, a lead on her as they go here. There, we have a glorious farm. But now it makes much difference if you are shooting us out, right? Oh, well, you know, there's that. And for the love of God, please stop spam clicking those things. Minecraft are long gone. It actually hurts stuff. You gotta let the little sword under your crosshair refill to get full damage. What? You have to click to make it swing the sword. You click to swing, but you do full damage on the swing. You gotta wait between swings. Timing that I'm missing for my genetic code. All right. And twat waffle just jumped back in my inventory.
So now I need... Someone in real life, calm, collected, in control. A creeper walks up on her. Spastic wicked, usually leading to her death. That is just the way of the universe. Well, you know. <laughs> if somebody isn't about to die, I don't know how to be calm. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sure the problem is that I just didn't build my old pillar high enough. Hello, Goop Sale. Welcome to the Dazzle. Tall enough. Yeah, yeah, all right. Now let's go see if we can get some more coal so we can cook some food and stuff. How long have I been streaming today? Oh, I don't know. Two and a half hours? Two hours? Two and a half hours? Something like that. to go get coal. So, let's see. Woohoo! Found it! Glad to have you there, Goop. How's your day been? This place is like filled with water. That's awkward. Been good. Had a yummy scallop potato dinner. Ooh, that does sound tasty.
Well, finding iron's always good. Like, yay, tools! Yeah, scalloped potatoes are kind of a, a difficult thing to make perfect, but they're still so good. Even when they're not perfect, they're just so good. I like raw starched. Oh, don't. Hello, Yuzi Zusu. Welcome to the Dazzle. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, gold. I don't. I don't even remember what we do with gold, but. Eating mac and cheese, nice. Hello, Zimmy God, how you doing? Yeah, like mac and cheese is just a good classic comfort food. Finding use the mandolin slicer really helps with the slice consistency. Yeah. It's a universal agreement on mac and cheese. Yeah, I don't think I've met anybody yet who doesn't like mac and cheese. I mean, I've met people who can't eat it because they can't eat cheese, but I haven't met people who don't like it. Some more iron. Can't complain about getting more iron. I 
I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be kind of weird. Posture check. Because, yes, I'm definitely being slouchy again. And thank you there, uh, Crunchy. If they don't like it, can they even be trusted? <laughs> nope. <laughs> right? I like how mac and cheese is like the trust meter. I mean, if I met somebody that didn't like mac and cheese, I'd be like, yeah, it's more for me. Big cat. Yeah, and I agree. A rack or like one of those cubby shelves over here by my desk for all the hats would probably be way easier to navigate during the stream than the uh, tub I currently have everything in. Future furniture dreams. How many hats do I have? Oh, I have no idea. A lot. <laughs> I, I have hats that I don't even have currently listed for redeems. Um, they're in like a box somewhere. And I, I've, yeah, I've never counted them. I've never even, like, collected them all up and had them in one place before. So I really have no idea how many hats I have. If I'm going to have popcorn, for the most part, I just put salt on it. I also like um, nutritional yeast on popcorn. And I really like the um, cheese, you know, flavored cheese powder stuff. Oh, I don't have a thing. How did that happen? That's awkward. Makes it hard to build more tools if you don't have a, like, table. Boo. Well, you sleep well there, Danton. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. How you doing? much just trying hard not to die repeatedly you know the usual different games same problems Ugh, 
I'm just gonna end up drowning there. Silly dog, got the caramel popcorn. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the sweet popcorns. I think that they have a pretty unpleasant texture. No, nope, not stormy enough for sleeping. Oh, my wheat's growing. Yay. I'm sure the rain helps. You got used to icky texture stepdad makes weird dinners that feels nothing like how it looks, but it tastes good. Who I don't know. I, I don't think I can get over the, the, the icky texture thing. My primary experience with food is is through the texture. <laughs> Hi face. <laughs> Hello mad dog. Welcome to the dazzle. How are you tonight? I had to one, one, 
We had this one couscous that felt like eating, ooh, a glass plate. That's right for your pickaxe durability. Yeah, I don't really have any way to like heal it, so I'm just gonna have to make a new one. But I have been getting a good amount of iron, so that will make making tools better. Like, down into the depths. I think the only thing I ever used redstone for is to make pretty red blocks because, well, yeah. Oh man, I just like fell down into a hole and lost my stairs. I downloaded the Find Diamonds app and found diamonds and lots of other ores for free. And this is <laughs> not one of that, <laughs> right? Hi, J Random Jen, how you doing? Yeah, there's all kinds of apps that are like, here, make life easier. He's staring at me like, I shall kill you. And I think I've reached the bottom of the hole and there's like nowhere else to go. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Aha. Lots more to go. Yay! We're doing pretty good, just trying and not to die. Trying not to get lost. You know, the usual things that, that I tried while I'm playing games and struggle with. That's just this huge open cavern. Looks cool.
If you really want to find diamonds, use an extra texture pack. It's super cheesy, though, right? <laughs> Gonna go full shoes, a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. Off to my neurologist for a checkup shortly, but I saw you were playing one of my favorite games ever, so I had to pop in and say hi. Well, thanks for stopping in. That's awesome. And I hope that everything goes well at your appointment. Hopefully it's just a regular checkup and not because anything serious is going on. I have them find like regular checkups though that the doctor's appointments can be so stressful. And they're like super anxiety provoking for me. You're a pro driver sharing and has to really uh something really interesting that you be would you like to know? If you would like to talk about it, that's fine. We talk about medical stuff here all the time. Oh, buckle up. It's a wild ride. Uh oh. I think that the underground worlds are so much cooler than they used to be. I will say, though, that the world of medicine is way better to be boring. As long as it's not outside of Twitch's terms of service, we're fairly open group. Yeah, well, there's that. <laughs> I want to find a little hidey hole. So in 2016, I had an L4, L5 disc replacement for degenerative disc disease, causing me severe pain. I was in my early 30s, so I had good, uh, was a good candidate, according to the well-regarded orthopedic surgeon I was consulting. All right. Uh, within a month of the surgery, I started having terrible, intractable migraines that just wouldn't respond to any treatment. I reported it to him in my checkup, and his response was, I don't do brains, I do spines. Well, they, you just had spinal surgery. Did they check for, like, a, uh, 
A leak? Great that you were kind of connected. I mean, you know, just a little connected. Didn't check for anything. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that so much. I hate it when they're like, yeah, well, this is like outside my purview. I'm not going to like consider how it might be in any way related to the things that have just happened to you. Ugh. The medical field is so frustrating to me. Added me on my arse and sent me out the door. Oh, that's just the start. I hope he didn't literally pat you on the ass. I mean, but these days I'm left with like not much surprising me anymore. Great stairway. So I started the carousel trying to figure out what the fuck was going wrong. Went to multiple headache specialists, neurologists, rheumatologists, you name it. Daily migraines, didn't respond to any treatment, highly high intracranial pressure, but not super high, losing my vision, falling asleep while driving, lost my career, which I was really good at, multiple brain surgeries, to place and replace a shunt, no relief. kinds of adventures are just so like ugh, they make me sick
Finally, 2018, my neurologist says try cannabis because it has just been decriminalized. Uh, so I did, and it helped so much that I could myself off the opiates and pressure drugs I'd been on. Well, that's something. Those eyeballs in the darkness are so creepy! I could finally tell the difference between symptoms and side effects. I could feel this pain in my belly. I thought I had like cervical issues or a broader problem or something. Started tracking that down. Oh god. Shows up to school with blood vial necklace. Four five looks for everyone in the room. <laughs> yeah, some people are not um, open-minded to different um, cultures and approaches in life. We'll go with that. A urologist who thinks I might have something inflammatory going on does exploratory endoscopy. Nope. Your reader is pulled uh, pulled into my spine where it's been leaking into my brain for three years. Awesome. just fucking fantastic <laughs> like why would we think that it could possibly have anything to do with the hardware that we just placed like this problem didn't exist hardware put in why would it have anything to do with that like I I, I don't understand I just don't understand No, this isn't even half as bad, but when I was like three, my sister pushed me down the stairs and I had to get stitches in my eyebrows. And now I have a permanent gap in my eyebrow. Ugh. The life you destroyed. I mean, things like this happen, like adhesions and unfortunately, you know, surgery. Like, it doesn't even... <sighs> when you have surgery, like, there's always a chance that something is going to go less than ideal and not expected and 
that's never what upsets me about these cases. I mean, it happens not very often, but it does. What upsets me is that when it does, there's like this denial that it could possibly be that what's happened and they don't want to like investigate it. Like when you start having symptoms that didn't exist and it's right after surgery, why wouldn't that be the first thing that you suspect is going on? I don't, I don't understand. And exactly, Ms. Raj, the, the hubris and the just un- willingness to listen to the patient experience and the issues that the patient is having just the complete dismissal of like well this couldn't possibly be you know my problem i just it it just it's so there's not even words for it i can't and i don't even know like how many times i've experienced this as a chronic illness patient, that dismissal of the patient experience. Lacks of effort could possibly be the case. Yeah, I mean, it just, it just drives, it drives me nuts. Like, why? Just why? Why can't we as providers listen better? And run with the assumption that the people that we are taking care of are giving us information that is true. Like that their experience is real, even if we don't necessarily understand what's causing that experience. And it's not even like a cool sit, slit through the eyebrow. It's like an oval coming from the top of the eyebrow. Blah. Yeah, scars suck. And it's really difficult if you don't have a cosmetic, you know, or, uh, yeah, the, um, like cosmetic surgeons or the surgeons that are like specific for hands and faces doing it because that finer tissue scars so easily. And it's really hard to keep that from happening. Absolutely. Just be willing to admit that you have made a mistake. I don't do brains. Yeah. It's like, not even like necessarily even admitting you do a mistake, but like admit that it's a possibility, like investigate, be willing to consider it a possibility and investigate. Like he didn't even have to admit that he had made a mistake. He just had to admit that it was a possibility and investigate and look into it. Like, I don't do brains. What? You just did spine surgery. Like that's totally connected to the brain. Like he knows better. I, I just, I can't. Gonna take yourself out trying to run from the creeper. Yeah, I really thought that was gonna happen. I hate when people don't listen when you explain what happened when you get hurt. Yeah, Zim, it's nuts. I just, it's like, why, why can't we listen? I had a bad and awful ear infection. The doctors and nurses completely ignored me, sent me off with Tylenol, and now my left ear is deaf. Ah, oh, goop, that's awful. It, there's too many stories. Too, too many stories. It's like all the time where people are dismissed, not taken seriously because they don't have the answer. Instead of saying, this test is negative, so that's not what the problem is, or I don't know, it's, well, this test is negative, so you must be fine, or I don't know the answer, so you must be fine. And that drives me nuts. I just, And I was told that for so many years before I was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And then it was suddenly like everything made sense in my life. Like my whole life just made sense. And it's just like all because nobody wanted to listen to me and everybody said, well, because this one test I did was negative, there's nothing wrong with you. 
Like, I got knocked over at school, and the way I got knocked over knocked all the wind out of me. So, I started coughing and crying and trying to get help, but everyone else just watched. And then, when I eventually got to the nurse's office and explained what happened, she didn't care. And when she told my mom what happened, half of the story wasn't what happened. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why this is a thing, Zem. I really don't. I just... And I don't understand why, like, when I'm working with pediatrics, why parents will ask me what happened. I'll look at them and I'll be like, well, ask your kid to tell you. They were there. I wasn't. Like, let's ask them to, to, to relate the story. I, I wasn't there when they were injured. Like, why are you asking me? I didn't witness shit. I mean, sometimes kids have a hard time explaining their experience, but that doesn't mean that they don't know what happened to them. And oftentimes it means taking the time to, you know, really clarify and ask questions. And oftentimes I find that's true even with adults. People will tell me stuff and I'll be like, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. That makes no sense. And you just have to like keep asking questions until you can like understand what they're telling you. I don't understand why this is so difficult. It took me a long time, but I wrote him a very strongly worded letter a few months ago, and he responded that he was very sorry and told me that he no longer practices medicine due to the fact that he had a stroke. Well, I mean, I'm sorry that he had a stroke, but I guess it's not really a huge sad thing that he's not practicing medicine if he's not going to be listening to people. So I guess there's that. Yeah, I don't know how many times I've had to fight with people because I had a patient that was relating an experience and I had to be like, look, I understand that this test was negative, but their symptoms that they're reporting are still concerning. So what are we going to do to investigate those symptoms? Like you did one test, that test was normal, like fine, but... That doesn't answer the question of what's going on. I, I just, I don't know how many times I've had to have that conversation and it's so frustrating. Look at the Enderman. No, I'm not gonna look at the Enderman. You ain't gonna kick my butt. I looked at his feet, That that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm glad that he can't hurt anyone else, but I'm never glad that someone is suffering, even if it's someone who hurt me. Yeah, Jen, I, I, I think that that's it right there. You know, it's sometimes I feel like the universe takes care of itself, though. Because it's also hard to have sympathy for him. And, you know, now he'll know what it's like to be a chronic illness patient. And know what it's like to not always be taken seriously. You can look at him if you are a carved pumpkin. Oh, huh. Look him in the eyes. Tell him what you feel. No. <laughs> oh no, Goop. The stream's giving you grief. I hate that when the webs are not working perfects. Welcome, Jen. We talk about medical stuff here all the time.
And for better or worse, you know, I I've heard a lot of similar stories where people just are not taken seriously, not heard, not listened to. And then they have to struggle for a really long time for just no good reason. And I think that one of the biggest issues that we have in the healthcare system right now is this arrogance that providers know better than their patients as far as what their patients are experiencing. Like the only person that knows what's going on with your body is you. Like my having a degree doesn't change like that reality. Man, this place is so huge. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. Only one of us is connected to this nervous system. Exactly. Like, so when I have a patient who tells me that something's going on, I'm just going to assume that thing is going on. I'm not going to... I, I've often had to tell people, I don't have an answer. I don't know why you're experiencing this, but I'm not going to ever tell somebody that they're not experiencing it or that's not possible or, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I think that we need to do so much better in healthcare. I just think that we, have gotten to where we're so much about like, do what I say and don't give people res Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think that we give people any amount of respect. Rip. I'm dealing with this. It is stressful. Uh, no, you aren't. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the hell is that? Like, why do we do that? I'm going to need, like, a goat to carry all this back. It's three bones enough to get a dog. I wonder if I can get a dog now. You're still in your did you, Val? I love that you didn't die from the fall damage, but the fact that a skeleton shot you as you had one heart left. Yeah, yeah, I totally had, like, one heart left to him, and he, like, just totally took advantage and shot me in the face. I'm like, yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Ah. You only need one bone to get a dog if you're really lucky. Yeah, if I'm lucky. I don't know if I'm lucky. I guess I could try it. I got three. Hey, puppy. Won't you be my friend? I got a bone for you. Hey, puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that! Woohoo! Come on, buddy! You want some meat? Here, have some snacks. I just get the di dog on one try. I bless you with good luck. Well, thank you, Goop Sale. It totally worked. Look, I got him on one try. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, w I don't even have a name tag for him yet.
have an amazing texture pack that makes all the dogs look like all kinds of different breeds. That's unbelievably adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That does sound like they would be cute. Um, I think that this one is really what I want. Beep. Boop. Where are you, buddy? Boop. Yeah. Can I like change the color of my bed? No, that's too bad. <laughs> well, thanks for the lurk, Jen. I hope that everything goes well with your appointment. Call him Rogo. <laughs> well, we have to get a uh, name tag before we can name him. I think that we can make these save space by, like, making them boxes. Yeah. to like decide what I'm bringing with me and what I'm not. Oh dear. Because I'm going to try to go find like where my house is. Hmm, don't really need that stuff. Wheat I'm going to make into food as soon as I can. These I need to smelt. Definitely don't need that. You can dye your bed, you gotta break it and combine them. And puppy after this squishmallow. <laughs> Name the dog May. <laughs> I was hoping I could like do it without breaking it, but. These are gonna take forever to, break, to like cook down, huh? These blocks I'll bring depending upon how much room I have in my space. Looks like I have some uncooked chicken. That's not healthy for me. Maybe I 
if I make a second box, I can like start sorting out what I'm taking and what I'm leaving. What? Organization? No. Now that I want to make into bread. Um, um. I think I'm probably going to need more coal. when it's ready. So it looks like this really like pale stuff is what's ready. Because that's what's giving it to me. Will you sleep well, Boot? Thanks for coming and joining us. Another pasta check. Thank you. And we're watering the face all. The pasta check was from Boo. Thank you. And thank you for the water the face hole, Izzy Mega. And how are you doing? Welcome to the dazzle. I don't need all these seeds. Boop. Man, it takes forever. It cooks so slow. I didn't even mention that I had the best tangerine this morning. It was so refreshing and sweet. Oh, that sounds awesome. I love it when you have a piece of fruit and it's just like the perfect ripe. Like, whatever that is for you as an individual. It's just like, yeah, this is so like, yes. Hello, banana friend. Welcome to the Dazzle. How are you? Yeah, I got a puppers. I was very pleasantly surprised and was able to get him on one go. So 
So we got like 21 coal in there. We got 21 coal in there. And I still got a bunch of copper. Oh dear. Maybe you can speed things along. More furnaces! If I keep going at this rate, I'll have like a whole furnace row. Hey, Pink Fox, welcome to the Dazzle. How you doing? Hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying watching the stream. And things have been going pretty good. I've only died a few times, so, you know, there's that. I feel like things are always going pretty good if I haven't died a whole bunch. You know, I lost my house, but, you know. I'm, I'm about ready to go on a quest to see if I can find it again. Oh, Zim, you read another story in the uh, channel, huh? Well, I will read it when we are done with the stream. Because, well, you know I got to read the stories. All right, let's put chicken in that one. And we will make this into... So I can get one more box. Oh, wait, I got, like, gold to cook. What am I doing? I'm being silly. I'm going to assume that I can do a copper box, too. Yep. You just jumped on me, buddy. What's up with that? He's like, nah, I'm just as uncoordinated as you are. It's fine. All right, let's see if I can go find some more coal while I'm waiting for that to, like, cook. some more coal. Hello. Mid Unlimited, how are you? Welcome to the Dazzle.
that was like interesting to like work my way over <laughs> where the goal is without like plummeting to my death you know it's fine oh there went some I'm good. So your video they put on YouTube and wanted to come say hi. Well, thank you for coming and checking us out after seeing it on YouTube. I appreciate that. Alright, we got a little more coal. We can toss in our ugh, furnaces, assuming I can ever jump my way out of here again. Cause I don't think it matters what game it is. I don't I don't jump well. Dogs pushing me around. We're almost there. I don't know where there is, but we're almost at it, whatever it is. Man, these always take forever. What? Takes forever. I guess all of those weren't ready. That's fine. I didn't want more bread anyway. Bread's overrated, I guess.
All right, and now we can like adventure forth and stuff. Sourdough bread is really good. I do like it a lot. My favorite bread though is pumpernickel. All right, now we just need to wander around endlessly until we find where we came from. I mean, I haven't gone that far from it, so it really can't be that hard to find, right? I thought you were never going back home. Well, that, that, that's the plan, is that I'm gonna find home. We'll see how it goes. I just wanted to have like food and, and some decent equipment. I definitely think I'm going the wrong way because I didn't go anywhere that there was snow. All right, so we need to try a different direction. So I'm gonna go towards those mountains. Is the sun as a compass? I my ability to get lost is amazing. I have the superpower of getting lost even in circumstances in which it is not reasonable for a person to get lost. It is an undesirable superpower. But unfortunately, we don't get to choose what superpowers we get in life. I don't remember there being a giant crater in the world, but you know. I usually build my house in the direction of the aesthetic side. She just goes for adventure! Well, you know, I go for something. You know, it's a pretty well-built-up place. You would think that if I got onto a high area, I would be able to seize it.
But like, I'm legit seeing no evidence of the village nor the area that the mods built. My goodness. My super power is super luck. I have super lucky in circumstances that don't change my lifestyle, physical life. Super weird, but it makes me happy. Hey, that sounds like a nice superpower. Watering face all. Thank you, Goop. Oh, and I like need to clear these out. I have like. And we're doing a posture check. Thank you, Goop. I've been like letting them all build up and. Cause this game doesn't easily let me like leave the screen like some of the other ones do. Well, at least I built where my base is. That pillar is nice and visible. quality of life pickup, right? <laughs> Alright, so if I go back in the direction of where the pillar is and I just keep going the other way that that that's gotta like lead me somewhere different, right? So I tried walking this way. So if I walk this way, let's see if I find home this way. I don't remember there being lots of birch though. This doesn't seem to be leaving, leading to any elevation. So I don't think that this is the correct direction. Because we had those kinds of trees. But th that's not a big enough area of those trees. The spruce trees. Alright, so I don't think this is the right way. No, I have no idea if I'm getting closer ads. In fact, I'm kind of thinking I'm not this way. So we're going to have to go back and pick another direction. I mean, there's only four directions to go, right? So we can't get, like, totally not right. Oh, shit! 
there's a hole here. <clears throat> I don't remember which direction I was walking. This is problematic. You got this nice bubble pie. We'll be waiting at home. <laughs> This is not the way that I need to go back to my base. Alright, so I need to go this direction. It's fine. You can do it! You can get back home! Well, I uh, will get there eventually. That's what I'm telling myself. Feeling like I didn't plan for enough food for all of this uh, running around. Okay, so... We tried this direction, it didn't work. They get daytime, so there's a creepers out. Your glasses broke? Oh no. That's awful. Well, might as well bring the eggs with us. All right, so let's try this direction. I definitely did not cross water to get here, so that is not the correct direction. So that means enter the twilight zone, right? I'm beginning to feel that way there, Goop. I mean, this is the only way left, so it, it's got to be this way.
What did you accomplish today? Well, I got some stuff and there's a dog. That that's about it. That that's what I did. And I'm facing snowy place again. Fuck my life. I am. I'm in the fucking twilight zone. I have been teleported to another fucking realm. This is not the place you were looking for. Um, like, my logic is pretty sound, right? Like, time to start a new home. Um, but the, my other home was really nice, and I liked it a lot. Oh my god, this makes no sense. Like, if I walk in all the directions, it's gotta be here. Gonna go up on that hill. See if I can see anything remotely like what I need. You've entered a Samasara. This is stray. <laughs> I've entered something. Well, there's my home base place that I built. At least that's super freaking visible, if nothing else in this place is. Like, how is it that I can see that, but I can't see the big buildings that they built? This makes zero percent sense to me. Ah, oh, man, so lost it. I will have a glorious rose garden when I get home, if nothing else.
pig's ability to exist 90% of the time below half health will never cease to amaze me. Well, you know, it's fine. All right, guys. I admit defeat. My spatial awareness is negligible. Here we go. Come by, ya. <laughs> Look, it's home. <laughs> <laughs> Now I have to figure out where my house was on this road. I mean, it legit has my name on it, so... Here it is. Look, respawn point set. I made it home, guys. I mean, totally cheesy to dive off the edge and call it, like, finding home, but, you know, here we are. So that is officially day one of playing Minecraft on the server. <laughs> the suicidal leap that leaves leads me home. Oh my goodness. All right, so now it is the time where we go and find somebody to raid. So let me switch over to our end screen here. And again, want to say thank you to all of the people who have given us donations. You guys are amazing. We really appreciate the support. Thank you, Sophie, Ella, David, Yamcha, Cuddle Me Spoon. You guys are awesome. We really super appreciate it. Uh, nothing better to fix your homeless problems than <laughs> dying, right, Goop? Um, thank you for the people who have been giving us fan art. Your art is amazing. We love getting that. Um, if you would like to give us fan art, you can do that through the Discord. There's a fan art channel. Anything that is put in that channel, I will add to this slideshow so that we can share your artistic awesomeness um, because I, I super enjoy all of your guys' artistic awesomeness. Um, and if you would like to do a donation, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash zebrapig. The link is down in the about page. Um, you can do a one-time uh, donation or you can do a subscription it is like patreon and if you do subscriptions you get like extra benefits which one of which if you do the llama corn or higher subscription is that you gain access to the servers for the minecraft and the seven days to die server which is the server that i was playing on tonight um also down in the about page is the link to siri skulks um, page so that you can go and check out her awesome artwork. She's the one that did all of the art that you see on my channel. All of the overlays and emotes are her amazing work. So go check her out. Give her some love and support. And you can now get uh, commissions from her if you would like her to do some amazing awesomeness for you guys too. Alright, let's go see who is on and who we can throw some Doritos at. Because there's bound to be somebody who wants snacks. I mean, people always need snacks, right? Oh, who is on tonight? All right, let's go... Say hi to Dr. Bind Benda. He's playing Don't Starve Together. So we'll go jump into his stream and say hello to him tonight. So same as always, guys, we're gonna give him, you know, throw 
three or four Doritos at him. Let him know you're bringing snacks. Make sure you give him some love. Um, he He's a great streamer. I enjoy his streams a lot. Um, and maybe if I hit the uh, start raid button, the thing will actually come up. Goodness. I'm like, why isn't it working? Oh, wait, because I, I didn't tell it to do the thing. It's fine. And as always, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us tonight. I really appreciate you being here. And we're going to be streaming again tomorrow at the same time. And tomorrow is Tuesday, so it's going to be grounded that we will be playing. So thanks again, guys. And you guys have a good night. Bye.